you're watching the ugly inside subscribe below welcome to the instant match reaction for the southampton 2 crystal palace nil in the efl cup the league cup we've dodged Groundhog Day. We haven't lost to Palace once again uh, and we're through to the next round quite comfortably. So let me talk you through the starting lineup then. There was eight changes from Sunday's game on Sunday. Alex McCarthy made his competitive debut for the club, replacing Fraser Forster, who's played every single minute so far this campaign. Uh, look back four then of Martina, Fonte, Yoshida, Target. I, I think we expected you know at least three of those players to, to start tonight's game. Uh, in the midfield, then the, the four in midfield, we had Classy, Reed, Warprowse, and Heskiff. Great to see Harry Reed and Heskiff make their senior bow this season. Uh, both of those players didn't have much game time or barely little game time under Coombe in the last two years. Heskiff, who has had injury problems as well since his uh, debut against Man United a couple of years ago. And great to see Harry Reid back in the squad. And uh, up top, Charlie Austin and Shane Long. So it was a game, really, that we controlled from start to finish and was, you know, embarrassingly easy, so to speak. But so in the first half, so Shane Long won us the penalty just after the half-hour mark. I'm running in behind Martin Kelly, who duly tripped him up. He had a stinker, by the way, Martin Kelly. Just come on a minute or so before replacing Scott Dan and tripped up. Uh, Shane Long to give us a penalty. Charlie Austin stepped up and tucked away his fourth goal in three games. Delighted for Charlie Austin. Looks like he's finally found his shooting boots. Obviously scored one for us last year in all competitions. He's had a few injury problems and now it looks like he's really coming back to the fold and can be hugely, hugely important for us this season in four competitions. So Long was a constant thorn in Palace's side with his devastating pace that we all know and love. And the de their defence struggled big time today. Uh, Long had a chance, actually cleared off the line just before half-time whistle, uh, causing all sorts of problems once again. And he was unlucky not to see the back of the net. Our first half performance was absolutely dominant and Palace created no chances at all. Uh, so the second half was more of the same, actually. Charlie Austin came off just before the hour mark. Uh, maybe one eye on the weekend, obviously with West Ham away on Sunday. Perhaps Austin could start that game. I hope he does because he's got his shooting boots back on him. And he was replaced by Redmond just before the hour. And more pace to trouble Palace. Just what they asked for, really, really. So for our second goal, Palace were caught on the break. Uh, Warprouse found him in a load of space in the final third of the pitch and made uh, uh, an amazing defence splitting pass to Shane Long, who also, once again, ran in behind the, uh, the defender. So Long's shot was actually parried into who else but the 18-year-old Jake Heskiff, who smashed home his first senior goal for the club. Absolutely delighted for the lad. Uh, Long, once again, unlucky not to score. And it seems like he just needs that one goal to really give himself a, a confidence boost. I actually noticed him kick the post just after he missed. So he's frustrated with himself and he just needs that one goal to really get him back into that, that kind of mindset where he, you know, he thinks... And he will, and he can score. Uh, so back to Heskiff then, he'll be absolutely, he was absolutely thrilled from his goal. First senior goal for the club. Has had a lot of injury problems himself as well the last two years. Uh, delighted for the lad, obviously scoring in the League Cup. And hopefully uh, score a few more this season, who knows. Heskiff was actually replaced at 75 minutes, boy. Uh, Big Dane, Pierre Moore, Hoiberg. Heskiff had a you know terrific ovation from the crowd which would do him no end to his confidence. But in the end, a very comfortable victory to us, a game in which we dominated from start to finish. How easy was that? You know, Defence, again, very strong, despite Christian Benteke's attempts to injure our centre-backs, Yoshida and Fonte, Belgian bastard. Uh, Fonte and Yoshida picked up a, a little knock from the Belgian, and hopefully it's not, not too serious, but they, they played on to the end of the game, and hopefully they can... You know, remain in the squad for, for Sunday's game. But I expect Virgil to come back to obviously to replace Yoshida. Fonte to lead the, lead the team out once again. But Palace were poor this evening. A complete opposite performance to Stoke City at the weekend where they hammered them 4-1. If you're a Palace fan, let us know what went went wrong for you guys. But the, I mean, Palace actually picked up their first shot on target 80 minutes in. You know, see, we were so strong today that we... We really broke down their attacks and, well, very little attacks or very little chance that they did create. McCarthy didn't actually have barely anything to do this evening and he'll be delighted to pick up a clean sheet over his old employers. 
Uh, Long, towards the end of the game, Long came off five minutes to go, replaced by Dusan Tadic. Uh, Long, terrific game once again, and absolutely gave everything, but his drought does go on, though. Hopefully he can pick up a goal against West Ham or next week in Israel at Hapoel. But it really seems like the players are finally bedding into this new system. That's three games, three competitions, three clean sheets and six goals. What more could go wrong, Ace? Despite the low attendance force, just over 14,000 people turn up. A bit disappointed with that, actually. Obviously, the tickets were £12, but you know a lot of people say that's too many games. Obviously, Hapoel and Israel come up next and lots of people going away to Inter Milan. That's another topic as well. Saints actually announced another 3,500 plus tickets today. So we're going to take over just over 8,000 Saints to the San Siro in Italy in October. But the fans are wearing fine voice tonight. All the songs and atmosphere coming from the Northern and from the Itchin, of course, as always. But to wrap things up, then my man of the match has to go to our Irishman, Shane Long, who gave everything to the cause once again, running after everything. We know that about his game. He will run his socks off all evening and prove that once again. And for me, on my opinion, he is our man of the match, uh, causing Palace all kinds of nightmares. Uh, he won the penalty, leaving Kelly flat-footed and had, a, and had a hand in the second goal as well, uh, parrying his shot, well, Hennessy parrying the shot into Heskiff's path. But again, Heskiff, a worthy contender who scored his first senior goal for the club, and he'll be absolutely thrilled with that goal. His confidence so will be sky high coming into next week and uh, looked really lively all evening as well. So overall, a great win, and I'm feeling confident going into Sunday's game away to West Ham, our first trip to the London Stadium. And interestingly, We've just been drawn at home to Sunderland in the next round of the League Cup in the fourth round. Another home tie, which is what we all want. We, we, we don't fancy travelling all the way to Sunderland on a Tuesday, Wednesday night. Uh, this tie is going to be played in the week commencing the October the 24th and hopefully the club will put on cheap tickets once again. Uh, but for now, let me know in the comments below who was your man of the match, what did you make of the game and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.